Though the summer is winding down, there's still time to join the Natural History Museum of Utah's Explorer Corps. What's the Explorer Corps, you may ask? Well, Beth Mitchell from the museum says it's an adventure. Explorer Corps is an adventure to find the natural history and cultural history places throughout Utah, one in every county. And the fun part is we've placed a permanent commemorative marker in the ground, a physical marker, that people can check off on their race to 29 by either doing a passport rubbing in our physical booklets available at libraries or using the Natural History Explorer Corps app. The Explorer Corps officially wraps for the season on Labor Day, but there's still time to jump in the car, take a day trip, and find some historical markers. One marker, not far from the Salt Lake metro area, is in Morgan County along I-84, and this marker stands in the shadow of one of the coolest geological sites in the state. It's called the Devil's Slide. The Devil's Slide is an amazing amazing rock formation. As, as everybody knows, Utah's made up of rock formations all over the place. What's unique about Devil's Slide, um, the rock was formed 170 million years ago. 170 million, that's a long time ago. The way this rock came up, the estimation anyways, is that 75 million years ago, um, we see what's behind us, which is now called Devil's Slide. Um, my understanding is, is that the slide itself is about 200 feet long. The walls that, that you see behind me, they're approximately 40 feet tall at the tallest. So unless you actually come out here, you just don't understand the significance, the massiveness of this slide. It's, it's stunning and it's absolutely beautiful. It's really, as far as rock formations go in Morgan County, it's, it's the top of the list. As interesting as that geological marvel is behind me, I think what's even more interesting is how it got its name. You know, from what I've read and what I understand, a um, gentleman by the name of James Walker was working on the railroad and coming up through this area. The railroad asked him, well, what are you going to name this, this rock formation? And he said, Devil's Slide. And, and apparently it stuck over time. Um, ironically, the Walker family still lives in Morgan, and I'm sure he's still, there's still some relatives that live there. So um, it's, a, it's a really cool name, but it's an amazing rock formation. Okay, so it's got some cool history, but can you actually slide down it? <laughs> I've never done it. I haven't seen anybody do it. It's not on public property, so I would not recommend it. But what an amazing feature to look at, to actually look and see a slide in the middle of these walls. And imagine yourself, uh, maybe we could slide down it. I would not recommend it. <laughs> To be honest, I'm not supposed to play favorites, but Devil's Slide is one of my favorites. You kind of see some formations coming up along the way as you get here if you're driving east, and then, whoa, all of a sudden you realize two almost perfectly parallel lines like are shooting up from the earth with this cool slide with a bunch of like trees and animals. I just saw a chipmunk. It's just fantastic. You can view it from the road, you can pull over and just go right off, rub the marker down, or you can try to get up close. Although it is on private property, so take that into consideration. So maybe look, but don't touch this one and leave the sliding to the devil. <laughs> Reporting in Morgan County for Fox 13's The Place, I'm Krista Rose.